Hello everyone, my name is Minister Wallace. Again, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Uh, just getting back home from work and um, on the way from work, I was thinking, hence the uh, title of the video, COVID-19 Security. Uh, today at work, we we're talking a lot about uh, security from a military standpoint. What can the military do and how is the military continuing to secure the nation? But uh, so I'm the one probably lone guy in the room who's thinking, wow, and there's a lot of folks who are very insecure at this point. There's a lot of folks who are dealing with some things, uh, who are going through some things that are making them very insecure. Uh, nationally, we have COVID-19 that's here, most likely here to stay. And it's, and it's, having, it's making people second guess a lot of things. A lot of folks have lost jobs. A lot of folks are in, insecure about the future of their jobs. Uh, just a lot of stuff is going on that I know is making uh, some of us, all of us, a little bit insecure about some part of our life. So I wanted to give you some encouragement from a place that uh, the encouragement does not change. The, the encouragement has never been called fake. Uh, the encourager is your creator. And this place is, of course, God's word. Proverbs chapter 2. I ran inside right quick and made some notes, but... In Proverbs chapter 2, actually the entire chapter itself, but in chapter 2, uh, verses 1 through 6, what we'll go through, it is, there is the writer, uh, it sounds like a father and son conversation is happening, but the writer is basically encouraging his son that, hey, look, if you listen to my wisdom, then my wisdom will give you security. And, uh, and as you see, as it go, goes through, you're going to see that it ties this wisdom back to God's word. So listen to what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 2, uh, verses 1 through 6. And listen to the words, too. When you're studying God's word, you got all the time in the world now to study God's word. When you are studying God's word, read it like you would read any other book. I'm not saying it's any other book, but I'm saying read it like you would read any other book. The sentence structure, the verbs, the nouns. Take your time to really, really uh, read it, to understand it. Uh, uh, and, and I'm not saying just re re reading it alone will make you un understand it, but if you read and you understand what the original author meant, what, what, what they were trying to con convey, that's going to be a huge step into you uh, properly interpreting that text. So that observation phase that we talk about a lot is super critical. And in that observation phase is when you're reading the text. Okay, uh, and it will, and I'm not a TV evangelist. Look, I get uh, 22, maybe 23 views per video that I do. And I know that's probably about five folks who are watching it four, four, four times each. So I do not meet the qualifications for a TV evangelist or super big dog uh, preach or what, 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 whatever it is. But what I can tell you God's word will do for you. I won't make any promises that God's word is going to get your job back. God's word is going to set you uh, free from jail. Uh, I can't promise you that God's word is going to heal, heal, heal you if you're sick. But I do know this. God is capable of all of that. Now, no one knows what his perfect will is, but I know he listens to the prayers of his saints. So I know he answers prayers. He may not always answer in the way that we want, but regardless of that, he always tells us, ask what you want. If it's within my will, it will be granted. So I can guarantee you that. So I can promise you that God's word will give you encouragement. So from Proverbs 2, uh, chapter, Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, um, it is again a father who is instructing his son on the efforts uh, needed for attaining wisdom. He says, my son, if, if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you and make your ear attentive to wisdom, incline your heart to understanding. And then in verse three, he says, for if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. In verse four, he says, if you seek her as silver and search for her as hidden treasures. So if you incline your heart, lift your ear to wisdom. If, if you, he's basically telling them in lame, lame, lame in terms, if you listen to what I'm saying, if you hear the things that I'm trying to say to you, if you seek them out, 
If you look for wisdom instead of looking for mess, instead of trying to find junk or gossip or whatever it is, if you seek wisdom, then uh, this will happen. In verse five, he says, then you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Now that, that I think is worth the price of admission. That God's word is saying, hey, look, if you listen to what, uh, if you listen to what God's word is saying, if you pay attention to it, if you apply it, if you seek God's word, when you're feeling insecure, when you're feeling a little bit down, down, down and out, when there's been too long of a study diet of news, seek God's word, look into God's word, read it for comfort. When you are reading it, believe it, believe it. Just as much trust as we put into other things that we see on TV, put, God says, if you put just a tiny bit in trust, a tiny bit of trust in his word, watch what his word will do for you. Again, thank you all. Be encouraged, be blessed, and the way that you be those is be a student of God's word and be a doer of his word. With that, God bless you all. Take care. Get outside. It's been some beautiful days. I've been cooped up inside at work, but get outside, walk around the yard. Uh, if, if getting outside is a little bit too much, walk out on the back porch. Uh, look out the window, crack the window open. I know the news say you might get it from breathing air, but not true. It's a lot of folks who breathe, 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 breathe air. But on, on a serious note, get out on the porch at least. You got to kind of get outside of the, uh, get out of the couch. And you know I'm going to say it. So here it comes. Turn the TV, the news off. Not all day. I don't want to sound like a crazy person who's not advocating that you watch news all day. But I am saying I would suggest you limit the amount of news that you take in. Supplement that part with God's word. Again, thank you. Have a good evening and God bless.